Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am having a Mexican gourmet pizza with shrimp and cheese, so let's dig right in because I'm starving. So excited, it smells so heavenly right now, you guys. Like, I am not even kidding. There's onions, tomatoes, shrimp, pretty big pieces of shrimp, and a bunch of cheese. It looks like it's gonna be very heavy and creamy, but that's how we like our pizzas, right? <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna go right into it. Oh my God. This is a 14 inch, I believe. Look at this. First bite. Oh my gosh. Holy moly, I couldn't even talk throughout the whole slice because I freaking love it. It is so much better than I expected. And don't I just love when food just comes 10 times better. But by looking at it, I mean, expectations were high, especially with the smell. Oops, sorry. <laughs> especially with the smell, you just know that there's so much flavor. I don't know what sauce they have on there, but it's so creamy. Oh my gosh. Mm. It's so unbelievably good. Oh my gosh. And I can still, I can actually eat the crust. As you guys know, I'm not a crust eater. But, because it's not really a crust. 
they pretty much filled it to the top and I feel like this is more of a deep dish pizza so I got myself a Mexican Coke. I've actually never had one before, and I heard that it's amazing, that it just tastes like the sugar is like 10 times better. <laughs> and I hope it's a twistable opening because I don't have a bottle opener. It has to twist. I've seen someone twist these before. Whew. Oh no. Oh no. I don't want to get up, guys. No. <laughs> I'm really about to try to open it with my teeth. But I don't want to mess up my teeth. I thought these were twistable, guys. Someone told me that. Hmm. Maybe it's just certain ones. Or I'm weak. But I'm not weak. I'm pretty freaking strong. I'm going to try again. Oh, frick. Frick, frick, frick. <laughs> okay, I give up. I don't want to break my nail either. Alrighty. I have a spoon. A plastic spoon. <gasps> Alright, I'll just be back. I need to eat instead of look around for a lighter. Because I wanted to show you guys, if you guys don't know how to open a bottle with a lighter, it's very easy, but I just have this cool multi-purpose opener. Okay, so my first time trying a Mexican Coke. I need burp. Mmm. <sighs> it says no returnable. Do you think that means non refundable? Non returnable? It's in Spanish, though, right? Yeah, everything's in Spanish. Hmm. It has 34 um, milligrams of caffeine. <gasps> I don't know if I want that on me right now. <sighs> it's good though. Hmm. All right. This is so good. I'm gonna put some of the onions on here. It's crazy. I don't know if it's my tongue that really um, can distinguish cilantro really well. And there's not that much cilantro on each slice, but each time I get the cilantro, it's like. So good. <laughs> mm. I cannot get over how freaking good this is. Like, oh my gosh. And I love how, I don't know if you guys can hear, that each time I bite into the shrimp, you hear like, a, you know, it's just so juicy and plump. Like, yes. I was kind of um, expecting like little 
shrimps. <laughs> but um, I just thought, sorry, I just thought about a funny meme I read yesterday. It was so funny. I don't know if I should tell you guys. This guy is basically a meme off Twitter. Basically just a screenshot of someone's tweet. So they were like, she says she, she swears she loves seafood until I pull out my shrimp. <laughs> and I'm sure it's not word for word like that, but it's freaking funny. <laughs> I do be laughing by myself when I think about memes. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I think um, what makes this a Mexican pizza because this can easily be not Mexican or labeled as Mexican but since they added the cilantro and red onions and white onions it really does make it as well as tomato because it kind of reminds me of like a shrimp ceviche but then plopped onto a pizza with a bunch of sauce and cheese yeah <coughs> excuse me I have like a lit all over my face <laughs> okay, I don't want to look crazy. All right. I, oh my god, I almost choked. What's wrong with me today? I definitely do want, I'm not going to eat this one then, um, to save some slices for my family. I don't know why I had to say it like that, sorry. But this is just to die for, and I would be, it would be awful for me to take the chance away from them to try it. It's just so freaking good. Mm. I love how they just added one green bean, one string bean on top, like, mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. it's a nice touch oh it's not a string bean <laughs> it's a freaking chili mm. that would have been really good and they added chili all over it I should ask them to do that next time. Mm. 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 <laughs> already pretty sure I eat four right one uh -huh. I think four because there's one I ate um, the whole crust the first one but oh my gosh so now I'm starting to feel it in my stomach especially with how much toppings is on it um, how much did I get it I think this was like $21 though it is kind of on the hefty, expensive side, but I am not kidding you when I say it's definitely worth it. Like for the amount of flavor and juiciness of the shrimps and the toppings, it's like you don't really get a bite without anything where, you know, sometimes some, pie some pizzas are like skimpy like that, except for the crust, I guess. But, you know, people love crust. I still can't bring myself to like crust. Mm. This tastes like spicy mayo, but you guys know I cannot distinguish my sauces at all. But, yeah. I'm so itchy! It's always lint on my face. Probably because Mochi's hair. <laughs> Excuse me. 
excuse me. So I was thinking for my next mukbang, for me, gosh, okay, I got it. For me to do a mukbang with mochi. That would be so fun, right? I was just, I've just never done it because I haven't had like this space to, but I have this whole room to myself. And I was just thinking like, how can I get him up to me? But I'm thinking, um, she just get out of the chair and plop it up with like pillows of some sort or some bl like a blanket. It was happens next to me like this, like up here. But I'm trying to think of what I could eat. Like it has to be something like not too crazy, like something like chicken. But I just had El Pollo Loco. That would have been a good idea. But if you guys can give me suggestions of what you want me to see or what you want to see me eat with mochi, that would be great. Because then I can't really think. I feel like the only thing he can eat is chicken or like a burger patty. So I can eat burgers again or... I have no idea. He does not like fruit or vegetables at all. Like, it's just, I don't know why. He'd be picky like that. He doesn't even eat dog treats. Like, I'll tell you guys more about it when we have a mukbang with him. It would be so fun. And yeah, so I'm just gonna go into the rating. I'm pretty full. And I have to be honest, so since I've been upping my mukbangs up a week, and I've been eating a lot more, I find myself on my non-mukbang days to binge, which, you know, and someone gave me a buttload of crap on Instagram the other day for like, um, what did she say? Like encouraging people to binge eat? Like, no, I am not encouraging anyone to binge eat. If anything, don't binge eat. And I think like my videos, I hope that they help people not binge eat because it helps you feel full some sort of way or like you can eat with me and possibly feel full faster because of the amount I'm eating, you know? Like I am not encouraging that behavior at all because it is pretty, it's pretty bad. Like when I binge, I think it's just easier for me to bounce back because I do have pretty positive self-talk. So when I do binge and I feel bad, I just make sure I get it in like my workout the next day and fast and do all that. So I can just, I can bounce back really fast. But yeah, I don't think binging is a good thing, but I know everybody struggles with it or people like, dude, it's normal, okay? Like some people be tripping. <laughs> And I did like um, talk back and I just stopped like, you know, near the end. I'm like, oh, I shouldn't do this, but I just have the wittiness to, you know, and I have the energy to, but I'll stop. I'll stop. Okay. So my meal, I have to say is a freaking five. This was so delicious. You guys, like I am not even exaggerating each bite. It was like a burst of all these wonderful flavors that were different but somehow blended together. But that's like a lot of Mexican food, I would say. You know, they just have a bunch of stuff but it all comes together wonderfully. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe. Also turn on push notifications and I'll see you next time. Peace!